Greetings. So I got a story to tell, and what this really is going to be about is a question you need to find out before you have services with your doctor. Maybe not if you're going to get a physical or anything like that, but I mean something a little bit more detailed, a little bit more serious. So back in 1997, I ended up having breast surgery. I had a lump, and it just hurt. I'd had the lump for quite a few years, actually, and it, it was nothing. Didn't bother me at all. I knew the lump was there. I didn't think it was cancerous. It was probably stupid of me not to go to the doctor before then, but I didn't like doctors, which sounds really strange since I work in healthcare, but you know, I almost never went to a doctor. But I started having pain and I was working in a hospital, of course. And so I contacted a doctor who said I should see a surgeon. So I meet with the surgeon and the surgeon says, yep, we should probably get that out of there. We should probably test it to see if it's cancerous or if it's anything else. So the doctor's office calls in to get an authorization. And they call me, since I'm right across the way, and they say, the insurance company is denying it. I said, what do you mean the insurance company is denying it? And he said, well, they're denying it. They just, they're still not paying for it. I said, okay, send me the code that you used. I'll call them, because this is what I do for a living. So I get the code from the doctor. I look it up just to verify that it's the right code. It's the right code. So I contact the insurance company. And I kind of cheated a little bit. I went above the person who's right there, and I went to my rep. So I got the rep, and I said, yeah, you know, you guys are denying this, this claim that I need to have. I need to have this breast surgery, and you guys are denying this guy's code. So she looks it up, and she says, well, it turns out that the code he's using, we consider that a cosmetic surgery. So we don't pay for cosmetic. And I said, how's it cosmetic? I'm in pain. I've been hurting for a long time now. She says, oh. So you're in pain. This isn't just anything that you just want to do just to remove something. I said, no, look at the code. It's talking about remove a lump. Who has that as cosmetic surgery? So she looks it up and she says, you know, if he adds this other code and she gives me this other code and she says, if he adds this other code that denotes that you have pain, then we will cover it. So I called the doctor back. I said, okay, with the code that you have, add pain to it. And I give them the code number. So they call that in. They get back to me. They said, everything is fine. You will be covered in full. Wonderful. Now we're good to go. Now, here's the thing. Not everybody would have known to check out the code to find out what's going wrong. Probably at least, I'll say 25%, and I think the number is probably going to be higher, but I'm hedging my bet, would have known to ask the right question as to, you know, okay, why are you denying this? And would have said, well, I'm in pain or whatever it is. You know, you have to verify with doctors what codes it is that they're calling the insurance companies on to find out if they're going to cover it. You never stop at just having a doctor or whomever say, well, insurance companies saying they're not going to cover it without doing some kind of follow-up with the insurance company. You're always going to need to know what the code is that they used. Now, unfortunately, y'all aren't going to have the manuals that I had in my office that I now keep in my home office. You're not going to have the manuals. But truthfully, if you get a code, all you got to do is go to Google or Bing or Yahoo. I don't even know if Yahoo's still around. But all you need to go is search, put in a search engine, put in that code, and see what comes up. You can put in CPT and then that code. Or just try that code and see what you get. If you get something about phishing, <laughs> that ain't it. But everything has a code in healthcare. They all have codes. And there's extra codes. One of the things that physicians don't always do or physicians' offices don't always do is they don't always code everything thoroughly. This guy knew I was in pain, but I guess it never really occurred to him or the person who was working for him to add the pain code. That just should have been standard. If you were doing a medical record, you're actually writing down a medical record. You're not just saying, well, I'm just going to cut into this guy's breast and remove a lump. You're going to add all the extra stuff. You're going to add the fact that he was in pain. You're going to add the fact that I was diabetic, which I'd only found out two weeks before the surgery. <sighs> September 1997 was a weird year. It's also the year I turned 40. But these are just things you need to really know. You need to pursue further to ask more questions if you're looking to get your stuff covered by insurance. That's what I got for you today. Told you it was a little short story. My name is Mitch Mitchell. I hope y'all have a wonderful week. If you have any kind of questions about this type of thing, y'all let me know. Take care.